Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a volcano update Monday, September 13th at 8 p.m. Mountain Time, 2021. We're talking about Cumbre Vieja Volcano. A strong earthquake swarm has been detected at La Palma in the Canary Islands. Now, we've warned about La Palma in the past. In fact, December 25th of 2020, just about nine months ago, in a few weeks, we warned about an ongoing seismic swarm. Now, just to bring you up to speed here, here is Spain and here's Northern Africa. And there you can see the Canary Islands. So let's just blow them up and let's see what's going on down there. Now, the Canary Islands consist of Gran Canaria as well as Tenerife, Frontera, and other islands here. But the one in question that we're worried about tonight is La Palma. And that's because of its position far out here into the uh, Atlantic Ocean. And there's nothing in the way of La Palma from the rest of the Atlantic coast. And this is a very dangerous volcano. And we're about to get to the paper that describes the potential collapse and tsunami at La Palma, Canary Islands. Now, La Palma is this potential collapse and tsunami, but every island, this island to the south, Frontera, has three potential tsunami directions. Tenerife has one, two, at least three. Gran Canaria has two directions, and so on and so forth. So this is a very threatening place seismologically. Now, if, we're, if we come over here and we look at the amount of seismic activity going on in just the last 24 hours, this I'm having some connectivity issues, so this is going to take a while to blow up. There we are. And it may be impossible to zoom. But what I want to bring your attention to is the number of quakes. There are literally hundreds, if not thousands of quakes swarming beneath this deadly region on the, on the island. This is the region that is purported to be the one that if it slumps into the ocean, well, there will be 40 million dead within eight hours. And that is not a joke. That is the reality of what's happening here. There are many good documentaries on La Palma and the possibility of this. It, in fact, did happen around a half a million years ago on this exact island. A worldwide tsunami killed the entire coastal population, unbeknownst to them because they didn't have the telemetry we have now. And what you're looking at is a seismic swarm that has never been seen in the southern part of this island since probably the 1970s, and that's the last eruptive activity. Now, the La Palma volcano in Canary Islands... The strong seismic worms suggest magma intruding at depth. And this is why I believe them to be true. Back on December 25th of 2020, we had an earthquake swarm at depth here. It was a deep one, 25 to 30 kilometers were most of the quakes. Very few quakes up above 10 kilometers. But what we're seeing now at La Palma is much different. All of these earthquakes are happening 15 kilometers or higher. And we can just come over here and see the most recent at La Palma um, and the depth. And they are all shallow quakes. So that's bad news coming from La Palma. Shallow quakes and a huge number of them located along this a dangerous fault zone that could slump the entire island off into the Atlantic is bad news, especially where the ultimo tremoto is happening now. The most recent tremors are now happening offshore, which could definitely trigger a landslide, which is a very bad scenario. Let me tell you how bad it is. And we're going to get to that. So I walked you through the progression. Here is the December 25th progression. And now we're here today at the September 12th progression, September 13th progression. This is at a much higher, much lower depth, meaning it's shallower. And this is the magma actually being intruded into this section of the volcano. You can see here it's more widespread. So you have deep magma coming up from different directions, moving the crust. And now today what we're seeing is a more concise a tighter knot, a much tighter knot of seismicity up near the surface. And this means magma is being in place right here, the worst place it could possibly be. Up here in the normal caldera area, we wouldn't be worried about a landslide potential and subsequent tsunami. But based on La Palma's historical eruptivity, 
The eruptive nature of this volcano is VEI2 going back all the way to 1480. And it wasn't until about half a million years ago that a major eruption happened to cause that landslide. But any VEI2 eruption would cause potentially cause a landslide at La Palma, which could be potentially catastrophic to tens of millions of people living in the Atlantic Ocean. Now, this paper coming out quite a while ago by Stephen Ward and Simon Day goes over all of the scenarios of dangerous tsunami associated with La Palma in the Canary Islands. And from that, we got a video. And we're going to share with the video, and I will do commentary now. So what we're doing is just going from North America over to the Canary Islands. I showed you the position. And we're going to discuss the La Palma mega tsunami scenario. And there it is. So in an instant, within hours, the entire Atlantic is someday again, like it did a half a million years ago, a large piece of Palma will break away, just like that visualization there. And here's the slump there. And that's going to cause a massive tsunami. In minutes, as much as 500 cubic kilometers of rock will tumble into the sea and stir waves hundreds of meters high. Now, during the simulation, the waves got as high as 400 meters. So while you're watching this simulation, anything from this scenario, bigger or smaller, can happen. But this is a relatively large landslide. And what might be expected at distant shores from a relatively large landslide? Now, let's compute the tsunami for a 500 cubic kilometer collapse. If the collapse is smaller, the scale and the following heights would be proportionately smaller. Now, the maps show maximum expected runup as if there was land at each location. And real wave heights in deep water are much smaller, but most of the coastal areas have shallow seas, and that will cause the waves to rise. Now, the run-up scale is 10 to 20 meters, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, and so on, based on the color chart here. So 40 to 60 is in purple, 10 to 20 is in blue, and anything color than that is higher. And you can see that the shores here of Africa could see a 1,200-foot wave. That's a quarter of a mile high, by the way. And the African coast could, could see 300-foot waves. Now, the Iberian coast, which is Spain and Portugal, will, will not fare any better with 180-foot to 120-foot waves running up. The UK will see 30 to 60-foot waves hit the shores there. And that will take most of the citizens out to sea. And the East Coast, especially the Northeast, is completely at risk with 100-foot waves hitting Philadelphia, Manhattan, Boston, and other regions. And if you're on the Caribbean, it's a total washout. Can you imagine being on a tiny, tiny island uh, like Bermuda or Puerto Rico where a 120-foot wave washes over the island? I don't think anyone would survive that. In Brazil, it's no better. A dangerous 100-plus-foot wave will hit most of the northern coast of Brazil. So this is a very bad scenario that, by the way, could be happening any moment right now as I'm speaking. It could be happening now. We don't know when it will happen. What we do know is that it already has happened historically. And that's bad news for the future of Earth because based on all information, this tsunami will occur in the future. It's not a question of if, but it's a question of when. Now, the La Palma tsunami has the consequences similar to Japan's 2011 wave, but it would affect 100 times more coastline. Now, when they made this video, there was no evidence that this will happen anytime soon. And that's a boom. But unfortunately, based on our scientific background and the data that we're getting, it might be happening soon. We have a massive uptick, hundreds of seismic events happening on the southern tip of La Palma. And this is bad news if, in fact, this results in an eruption and a potential landslide here at the where the magma is being in place. This is the most dangerous place we could be seeing magma entering the island. Anywhere else wouldn't be so bad. But this, this is the big scenario that we've been talking about.
And we have the big blue star, Ultimo Tremoto, happening now. And that means that the seismicity is ongoing. It is not getting any less, and it's only getting worse. Now, we base this all on, let's go through it again. Here is the December 25th, 2020 uptick, which was deep. And it has been followed by the modern uptick now, today, the 13th, which is tighter and shallower and on that ridge that no one wants to see seismic activity happening on. Let's read what volcanic, what volcano discovery has to say. A strong earthquake swarm started under the area of La Cumbre Vault. Vieja volcano in the southern part of the island yesterday. So far, more than 350 tremors have been detected, including 14 quakes of magnitude 3, oh, above magnitude 3, and 226 quakes between 2 and 2.9. This is not an insignificant event. Let me repeat, this is a very significant event, and we need to keep a close eye on this. The strongest event was magnitude 3.4, and, well, we are crossing our fingers that th this does not mean what we think it means. And that is, well, a very bad scenario for many tens of millions of people. If this slumps out into the Atlantic Ocean at any scale, even a tenth of this scale, the devastation to the planet would be, well, catastrophic. And that is the most comforting word I could use. There is no way to escape this event. If you're on the East Coast of the U.S., in the Northeast, by the time it happens and they confirm it, the wave is already coming and there'll be less than four to five hours until it hits. New York, Boston, Philly. There is no way to escape now, the powers that be have decided that if an event like this occurs, they will not warn you. Could you imagine if two hours before a hundred foot wave hits the entire East Coast, they sent out a warning alert? What you would have is 80 million people in a traffic jam die in their cars. And it's my position that I don't think they should warn people because the shit show that would ensue because of the amount of sheep that live on our planet, would be incomprehensible. And lives that could have otherwise have been saved by not saying anything would have been lost due to the panic. More lives would be lost in the panic than wouldn't be lost if it weren't announced. And that's what they're running with. I don't know if that's the scenario we should go with, but I certainly wouldn't want to know if this baby is coming. And as soon as I saw the sea draw out in New York Harbor and left a dry bay, I would know what was coming in just a few minutes. And I'd sit down and puff a fatty and contemplate all the wonderful things I've done on this earth. Now, if you want to watch our last show on the earthquake swarm, the one that began the uptick, which has now resulted in a tighter cluster and magma intrusion into La Palma, I'll leave you links below to the December 25th video where we covered the December 25th swarm. Hope you got something out of the video. We're not here to scare you. We're here to prepare you. If you're living in a terrible area that might be inundated by a mega tsunami that is inescapable, maybe you want to think about relocating, perhaps. We've warned about this for half a decade. and We will continue to warn the public as we see fit. And that's a boon to knowledge. Don't be scared. Be prepared and relocate. Major cities are no place to live anyway as we move forward. We're looking for grid failures. Could you imagine an internet outage in a major city? <laughs> Holy macaroni. Followed by a 300-foot wave? Well, that would be a boon. Certainly. The knowledge. Hope you got something out of the video. It's not a question of if. It's a question of when. And the earthquake swarm is happening now. And that's a boom. Be safe. We love you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people.
and follow us for more updates on La Palma. Mm.